oh my god so everyone just motherfuckers just bear with me here because it's saturday i don't normally video my american sex model recaps on saturday you should do it on friday because i like to have a fresh mind when i do it because i just watched it but i was really busy i'm not gonna go into that so i'm gonna be recapping on saturday and i'm gonna be uploading this monday so i'm gonna be recapping american sex model cycle 22 episode 14 i believe and oh jesus let's just get started battle started so the episode starts off with mommy getting best the episode leaves off which starts off with mommy getting best photo no it was mikey getting best photo again and um tyra left them another hashtag ty ty tip please stop with these motherfucking hashtags anyway she told them some bullshit advice that i don't think is really true but whatever um they had a challenge where i don't remember the model's name i think her name was christy tegan or christy sherman i don't know her fucking name but um Oh, they also showed a clip where um, Mikey was again maybe trying to be a fuck boy, trying to get with Mame, and Mame was not reciprocating. She like, boy, stay in your lane, bitch. She did not want to kiss him or whatever. Um, so Mame figured out that you know she actually likes Justin and she don't want she don't want to do shit with Mikey. So um, after that, um, I think some they did a challenge where. What was her challenge? Oh, they had to do a nylon shoe. It would be a test shot. So basically, Tyra came to the house and, um, no, 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 no. First, Christy Keegan or whatever, Christy Teagan came in and she told the models a few tips about modeling and what she's done to be successful. And I'm thinking, really? And she's married to someone. I think I like, um, I don't even know his fucking name. I forgot her name. But she's, she's a co-host with Tyra on The Fab Life, or I forgot what talk show Tyra's in. Um, so um, she gave, you know, Mikey a few tips of his own. He tried to get with her. No surprise there, but she's married, so he's trying to back off. What? Anyway. Um, so then their challenge was that they were going to make a faux nylon shoot thing where they would take a picture and they would give it to the media and the media would say which person they liked the most. And, you know, the, the stylist told each person what they like, what's their, you know, what's their trademark, what they, what's their personality, what's their fashion sense. Mommy chose regalness. I think Lacey just chose, like, a nice southern girl, whatever. Mikey chose, I think, more, like, what was it, laid back. And then um, Niall chose, I don't even know what the fuck Niall chose. They were doing their photo shoot. Everyone did well except Mommy. She was struggling the most with hers. Um, Lacey, she struggled with her signature, like, little, you know, with her little, you know, twisty on the thing. And they showed pl past clips of her doing that. That's her signature look. And then Mikey, he had his hair up, which totally shouldn't, he should not be having his hair up. And, of course, he let that mane down, bitch. And might I add, in the confessional rooms, are, isn't Mikey's hair looking on fleek? Like, his hair is looking so fly and so smexy. I'm just like, yes, bitch, you better fucking work. Anyway, um, I would say, I will say everybody's, everybody's look was beautiful for nylon, except mommy's dress. It just looked like a black dress painted on with a bunch of doilies. It did not look cute. And Lacey's hair, I did not like. Um, that's that ugly Salisha Bob that needs to motherfucking go, bitch. Anyway, oh, oh yeah, might I add my neurals of the day? See, does anybody like them? See, I did this for free 99 to myself. So look at that shit. I could be like, that's real diamonds, bitch. That's how rich I is. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not rich at all. Frickly, frickly, I'm poor. Anyway, um, so then after that, they sent the, the magazine to the media the winner of the challenge was, I believe, Mikey? No, it was Niall. Because everyone was drawn on his blue eyes, of course. I am a big sucker for some blue eyes, bitch. I'm like, mm, you know? Um, so, sorry, I thought my TV was going to turn on. So, then after that, they each went to the house. They saw the challenge score. I think Mikey got a 10. No, Niall got a 10. Mikey and... Um, Mikey and... Um, Lacey got a nine and I think, um, mommy got an eight or whatever. So then Tyra came in and then, she, um, Tyra was telling them that they would be working in, they would be doing a thing, a photo shoot in their house 
by one of the photographers that made her famous, and that was Tyra's mother. Um, I, I don't, I forgot her name, L London. I think her last name was London. I totally forgot her name, but it was Tyra's mama, and it was so nice seeing seeing Mama Tyra, you know. And um, you know, Tyra's mom said that you know she had better expectations for her daughter that she didn't expect her. She didn't expect her to go to the modeling world. And but you know, she said that if this was Tyra was super ambitious about this and this, you know, she was going to support her no matter what, you know what I'm saying? And um I absolutely love that, you know. There's some people out there that don't support, you know, there's some mothers and fathers that don't support their children about what they want to do in life. So I'm very glad that Tyra's mother, even though she expected her to go to college and, you know, do all this stuff, that she still supported Tyra even though she wanted to model, which is, you know, a very hard industry to break into, to be mainstream famous, you know? You know what I'm saying? But, oh, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh, I was going to mention something else. But I fucking totally forgot. Oh, I know. I know what I'm going to mention. But anyway, Tyra said that, you know, I love my mother. I wouldn't be today without my mother. So I decided that this photo shoot was going to be with your mothers and she brought all their mothers and it was so sweet i automatically knew the platinum blonde mom was mikey's mom because of course mikey's a natural blonde just by looking at that ass i'm just like boy you natural uh, unlike some people who gotta bleach their hair to be this color anyway oh i don't like that my extensions aren't matching i mean yeah okay so Everybody was crying. It was very emotional. This is like the first time I see Mikey so emotional, you know? He's mostly the kind of like cool, cool guy, you know, like, I'm gonna fucking yell at you if you get in my face, bitch, type of guy. So, everyone was so emotional, and Mommy was the most emotional because she hardly sees her mom, which is sad because, you know, you always need your parents. Well, I don't need my dad, but my mom, basically. You know, you always miss them, and she said that she came all the way from Africa, Ghana, just to see her, which is so crazy you know she traveled more than I think a thousand miles three thousand miles just to go to just see mommy which I thought was very sweet and Tyra wow it was amazing and um surprisingly enough Niall's mom was deaf too um I didn't know that she was um so they would each be doing a photo shoot with not with their parents so you know I feel like in this I feel like this episode Tyra really wanted all of them to be emotional they wanted they wanted them all to show some emotion or whatever so like you know they were you know mikey's mom was crying saying that she never did anything for herself she always helped other people da, 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 da. so then you know mikey said he loves his mom because she's worked so hard to get them where they are and you know what she, i think she was a single mother which you know i do i can relate to because my mom is a single mother she still is today you know so you know shout out to all the single mothers out there i think all of them are single mothers i think um no, except mommy's parents. But anyway, you know, the mommy was saying that she has a disconnect with her mom because of the fact that they don't see each other very often. And then Niall said that his his mom and dad got a divorce and they would have very verbal arguments. And my what I was thinking is, you know how like when you fight with someone, you raise your voice, you know, you get in their face, you'd be like, I'll add it to like motherfucking bitch. Who the, who the fuck do you think you are, you know? My, like the thing is that you know, they would get into fights. Not he, Niall said they, his parents would never get into physical fights. But it's like, like, can you really sign angry? Like, or would it be on your facial expression? Like, you have a mad face. Like, you know, like, you know, like, you would have an angry face and sign to show that you're angry at someone. But it seems, like, very weird, like, to try to, to like, to see people fighting just by using their hands, you know? Sign language. I don't know. Um, so... Uh, um, anyway, after that, so when it came to Lacey, oh, it breaks my heart. So she said that definitely living in the South, you know, it was hard because she said that, you know, in two, like years ago, like a few years ago, whatever, in high school that she felt ugly, that she, that, you know, she gained weight and, you know, she never felt good enough, she never felt pretty enough, you know, and that just definitely touched, like, pulled on my heartstrings because that is definitely how I used to feel. You know, I used to be that person that never, never took a compliment. I would always look down on myself. I would always, you know, like be the type of person that would like think I'm never good enough. I'm never this. I'm never that. And you know what? I feel like in a way, me and Lacey connect, you know, Lacey, you and I, you know, we brother, sister. Because, you know, everything that she said, you know, that she never felt pretty or something. That's the way I felt. I never thought I was handsome. I never thought I was good looking, you know, and it takes first 
like for anyone out there who always feels ugly or they're always putting themselves down I don't know if Lacey did this but for me it is definitely self-love I always you know after a while I just finally just chose to love who I am love love myself you know don't ever don't ever have someone say that they love you you it takes the first step into loving yourself is to love yourself first okay love yourself then let other people love you because like RuPaul says bitch if you can't love yourself how the hell are you gonna know somebody else okay um so yes Lacey did definitely okay photo shoot time I will say oh my god out of all the moms Niall's mom turned out this bitch was like superwoman with the hand on her hip like bitch you know this I absolutely love that photo Lacey I didn't like it much. Mikey's mom, she was very strong in the face. And then uh, Mommy Bomb was just so fun, you know, just seeing her loosen up and getting all like, getting all rhythmic rhythmic with it, like, eh, you know? And then, um, I think that was all of them. Um, they each went back to their, you know, they each got the skull mail bullshit. And then they said that, you know, you'll meet with the judges, blah, 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 don't care. I will say this panel, oh my God all their photos were amazing you know the judges had nothing bad to say about it which I find weird because I'm just like really you have nothing bad to say about it they each took two shots I think one of them like one just of their faces like just like profile not profile but just like a box angle like this and then the rest was like a body shot it would be like you could see everything um so then I think I forgot who went up first um but out of all of them I think Niall cried in panel which was so sad to see you know, he just said how much he loves mom, how much, you know, how much strong, how, how, how strong she is, da, 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 da. how he appreciates that she's like a single mother and still took care of them. And, you know, Kelly Cuntrum was that single mother. And I'm thinking, bitch, who would bang you? I'm just kidding. Just kidding, people, okay? So, out of all of them, I thought they all did well. And the funny thing is, let me say this. When they were deliberating, in my mind, I had like a sixth sense where I'm just like, there's never been a tie before. I wonder what happened when there's a tie. And then I was thinking, I was thinking about Cycle, cycle 5. Remember when in the episode with Jayla and Nicole, when Tyra flipped the photo and there was no photo there. And she's like, you both are going home. No, she's like, you both are not going to go home because you're going to go to the trip with us. I forgot what trip it was. But um, if anybody that's a, that's American Sex about a historian out there, you will know what I'm talking about. How Tyra had a blank picture and how they're both going to the trip with them and nobody was going home. Anyway. I'm getting a little off track so Tara called the names best photo was I believe Mame which I thought now should have gotten his mom and him work that motherfucking photo shoot you need to see that photo his eyes were so strong and then his mom just like you know his mom was motherfucking fierce bitch so my color would have definitely been Mike um Niall Mikey Mame then Lacey because Lacey you know Lacey's just doing her her she's just doing that face you know, she always does that. You know, she always does that. Like, do something different, bitch. Anyway. So, first one called up was, I think, um, Mame. And then it was Niall. And then the bottom two was Mikey and Lacey. And I was like, oh my god, who the fuck is going home? But, in the back of my mind, I had a feeling that there, that nobody was going home. Because it was like, you know, mom photo shoot. It's very savvy. It's very nice, you know? And I'm just like, oh my god, who's going home? My sister, my sister and I both wanted Lacey to go home. Because... Basically, her photo wasn't as good as Mikey's, honestly. Let's, let, I mean, let's be honest, you know? And then Tyra said, boom, there's a, there's a tie. And I'm like, I literally just guessed that. Like, literally just fucking guessed that. And then she's like, well, when it's a tie, our judges have to figure out who is the better candidate to stay or whatever. And then she, and then she's like, Lacey. And then, and then she's like, oh my God. And then Mikey just started to cry and, you know? And then... And then I think she also said, um, she said, but I didn't say you're going home, Mikey. You are staying too. And he was like on the floor, like crying, like, oh, Lord Jesus, like praising Jesus, you know, like I was just like, mm, you know, cause on, I will get back to my eye roll later, but I was like, really bitch. I predicted this whole thing without saying it. Like, oh my God. And they're all crying. And then she pulled out both pictures. It was both of their pictures together. She's like, you both are in the running of becoming America's Next Top Model. And they're like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so then Tyra told them that even though they're all four are staying, only one girl and one guy are going to be chosen, which I feel like is stupid because what if the two guys are good or, or the two girls are better, you know? 
Why is it one guy and one girl? Anyway, um, let me fix my hair. Anyway, that was that. None of them are going home. And I did an eye roll because I'm just like, these motherfuckers are just milking this season. Like, they are, this is the last season of America's I saw them. They're trying to keep it running to like the end. Seriously, there's going to probably be a three part finale. There's going to be a, you know, it's like, they are milking this to the T. Like, oh my God. Like, Tyra, if you want to make a season 20 years long, well, add an extra 20 years to the cycle, bitch. Like, Anyway, that's all I got to say. That's all, I mean, that's all I remember because I don't, because I, I watched it Friday, Saturday night right now. I don't even really remember all that as that happened. But it all happened. Um, but yeah, that's all that I got to say. So until next time, bye.